Well, have conservatives now turned on Tucker Carlson? If that's the case, well then... Fox is definitely done for. We're going to get into all the details of what happened. Before I go any further, guys, i got to give a special shout-out here to Marsha, who recently became a $15 patron, helping to support the channel. Thank you so much, Marsha. That is a great blessing to me. And guys, if you enjoy what I do here, you would like to help support, you can do so as well for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description will get you access to over 25 exclusive podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you will not be notified of all these videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me. But I know you guys do like me, so when you get done watching me here, browse back and check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So you would think you would get this kind of backlash, you know, from some of the other hosts at Fox News, but not Tucker Carlson. He is supposed to be the last true conservative there at the network. Well, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Here's the deal of what went down. Of course, on Thursday, they had that press conference. It was Trump's lawyers. They had Sidney Powell there. You had Rudy Giuliani, Jenna Ellis. It was like 90 minutes long. You know, I I went through it. I was I was watching it and going through everything that they were saying. Very good, very informative. Of course, the media tried to, you know, throw out their junk at them, but they stood their ground. They're tough people. I like them. And, well, Tucker Carlson talked about this on his show last night and said that, well, Sidney Powell really didn't present the evidence. She's making all these claims about the Dominion software and how, you know, it, it switched all these votes. We're talking millions of votes from Trump over to Biden and how Sidney Powell said in the press conference that when this is all uncovered, it's going to show that over 80 million people voted for Trump. And Tucker said, look, if that's true, you're looking at the biggest crime in American history. But again, he went on to say that Sidney Powell did not really present any, you know, sufficient evidence in this, even though Rudy Giuliani was up there talking about all the affidavits that they had. Tucker then went on to say that, you know, Sidney Powell was invited onto the show, but that she refused to come on and said that eventually she went on to say, you know, stop contacting me and everything like that. And Tucker said, look, we're not trying to dismiss any claims here. We've talked to enough whistleblowers, especially with big tech, so we never want to just dismiss anything. But his major thing was that she didn't bring this evidence. But here's the thing. Sidney Powell said this herself, that this evidence is not just going to be released on a cable news show. She's like, I'm not here to just make a quick five-minute appearance on TV to try and boost ratings. This evidence has to go through discovery. It has to go through the proper process and being laid out first in the courts. And then everything else will come out then in the media. That's the message that she was trying to say here. She was even on Fox Business this morning with Maria Bartiromo uh, and said that Tucker was kind of being a jerk about the whole thing. She didn't appreciate it. Um, so, uh, kind of a feud here going on between the two. Look, whether directly or indirectly, uh, many people, many conservatives are saying that now Tucker is just repeating the same left talking points now that Fox is now kind of put out there for the rest of their hosts and saying this will be the final nail in the coffin. But you know, we've been hearing that a lot though. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Everybody's been saying that, right? Well, the evidence is there. Maybe not showing them the evidence that they want to see. Okay, but they're putting those that evidence out there with these affidavits, everyone else that they're talking to. I mean, the corruption, it's been clear. It's all been out there. So, you know, I think they're just really wanting that, you know, exclusive evidence about the actual software itself. They want to see something. They want to be able to hold on to something like that. That will come out. So, like I said, a lot of backlash coming against Tucker for this. I want to pose this question out to you guys. Do you think that Tucker has in flat in fact flipped over to the left with this whole, you know, mentality of kind of, you know, going after Sidney Powell uh, and also saying that uh, Tucker saying they had several other of their people actually contact members of the Trump team saying that they haven't seen sufficient evidence either. I want to know your guys thoughts on this. I'll have more information on this in the description including a clip from Tucker's show last night where he talked about exactly all this that was going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.